Hello everybody, welcome to Snacky Snacks with me, Lupis. Today I'll be showing you how to make the achote marinade for your cookout. I will be leaving all ingredients and amounts that I used in the description below. To get started, we will be preparing your cilantro, your onions, and your garlic. As you can see, I'm not cutting them that finely. Um, I'm leaving them in pretty big chunks only because they're going to go into a blender, so it doesn't really matter how you cut them at this point. Um, I will let you know that I did use quite a bit of garlic because in my family there's no such thing as too much garlic. I would recommend using at least two cloves of garlic for the recipe. This will be enough garlic to leave a pretty good taste in it without completely overpowering it. I also only used one lime. The lime has a really strong flavor to it so I highly recommend only using one. Unless you completely love lime then go ahead and add as much as you want. And then after you are done preparing all your ingredients it's time to put them in the blender. Add 3 fourths of a cup of water to the blender. This will make the marinade pretty thick, so if you want it to be more watered down, definitely add more water to it. Start adding your onions, your garlic, and your cilantro, but remember to save a little bit of onions and cilantro for the end. Add your lime and you are ready to add your peppers. For this recipe, I chose the chipotle pepper because I absolutely love the chipotles that are in the adobo sauce but you may choose any pepper. This marinade is completely flexible and will work with any pepper and actually the pepper you choose will determine the level of spiciness. I also used four packages of the achote paste because I'm making quite a bit of meat for quite a bit of people. Uh, don't forget to cut them up into tiny chunks to make it easier for the blender to blend. And after you're done doing that, it is time to add your seasonings. My go-to spices are garlic powder, onion powder, and black pepper. I also added allspice to this recipe and of course salt. Add your quarter of a cup of vegetable oil and you are ready to blend it. Once it is completely blended, it is time to choose the meat you're going to be using with the marinade. I chose chicken and pork. My family absolutely loves eating chicken and pork, so most of my recipes will involve chicken and pork. I am putting all of my meat inside an aluminum pan and after you have everything ready it is time to marinate. I will recommend to use gloves. I did not use gloves and this marinade left a really strong tint in my hands that took quite a bit of washing to get out. It also stains clothes pretty badly so definitely wear an apron as well. Make sure to cover all of your meat with a marinade not missing a single spot. After using about 8 pounds of meat, I will admit I had about a cup and a half left of the marinade, which is completely okay because that just means I get to grill again and enjoy this meal another day. After you are satisfied with how everything is marinated, don't forget that we did set aside onions and cilantro for the very end. You will be placing this over the meats, um, spreading them out pretty evenly as best as you can, and after you've done that, put tinfoil over it and stick it in the fridge. We will be marinating this overnight so it, it, all the marinade gets into the meat and it will just taste completely delicious after it is cooked. Now that your meat has been marinating overnight, it is time to grill. I did prepare potatoes and tinfoil because it's not a cookout without one. And I am going to rub an onion across the surface of the grill. I grew up with my dad telling me that if I didn't do this before grilling, the food would not taste good. After you are done preparing the grill, it is time to place your meat on the grill. Make sure to evenly spread out your meat, that way it cooks properly. And you're probably wondering why my flames are so high. I do not have my flames high, my food is not going to burn, I just chose a horrible day to do this. It is extremely windy, and I happen to live in a really windy state. So I apologize for that, my food is not going to burn, nothing to worry about. Now that you have your meat in the grill, it's just waiting on it to cook. One thing I did forget to do was put nonstick spray onto the grill. As you can see, my meat is getting stuck to the grill. That is a little embarrassing and I will definitely remember to do that next time. You can also see up top that I will be making a salsa just to complement the meat when I make them into tacos. Now that everything has been grilled, I really hope that you enjoyed the marinade as much as I do and I would love to hear your opinion about it in the comments below. If you liked the video, please leave a thumbs up and hopefully you will subscribe for more to come. This has been Snacky Snacks with me, Lupis. 
and thank you so much for watching my video.